article after the interview. In this article, Mr Ring has one of his forecasting charts, which covers from September last year through to April 2011. Here's a clearer view of the chart. On this chart, Mr Ring has tagged full moon as FM, new moon as NM, king tide as KT, and perigee as P. In this article, called the Ethics of Warning, Mr Ring uses this chart. Here is a closer look. The use of this chart confirms that Mr Ring is using up to plus or minus four days in his calculations. But now he has taken this a step further and is also including apogees. The opposite of a perigee in apogee is when the moon is furthest away from the earth. If we apply plus or minus up to four days on Mr Ring's chart, this is what we see. We must allow a four day lead up and four days after each event. So this shows just how much of the month Mr Ring's forecasting is covering. By the way, this particular chart does not include references to apogees. By allowing up to plus or minus four days, we are covering up to nearly 80% of the chart. It goes without saying that 80% of earthquakes should occur within 80% of the time. Given that only 20% of the calendar is not covered by red zones, it raises serious questions about the relevance of Mr Ring's forecasting methods. Out of 242 calendar days, there are only 51 green days left on this chart. If we include apogees, a further 25 days will be in the red. That would cover 90% of this calendar. You can now see how few green days are left on this chart. Maybe Mr Ring could try telling us when an earthquake won't occur. Let's have a closer look at Ken Ring's article after the interview. In this article, Mr Ring has one of his forecasting charts, which covers from September last year through to April 2011. Here's a 